This will be episode 84, cycle 14, 16, and onward. I still don't think we'll get the nuclear power plant done tonight. I'm going to hope, but uh need a lot more steel. Uh, I might also want to switch back to the standard suit setup that we were using before, but only due to the fact of reducing duplicate time overall versus being able to work on the nuclear reactor itself in mass. Maybe the only real differences in utility of what I've done. Loading. There we go. Okay, uh, usual priority check, make sure all the plants are loaded. Make sure the rockets come back safely. Gene. All the diamonds I'm going to be needing for a little while. Only downside, obviously, is that this is radiating heat because it is diamond. We should be perfectly fine in here. All below 30 for right now. Getting close, though. Why is there me eh, never mind. It's like why is there me ice sitting there? Uh Okay dupes. Uh, do whatever you're gonna do. I also think one of these eggs hatched in my guy's hands. <laughs> As you can see there's extra pip eggs running around. here actually going down slowly but surely wait until this goes off nine cycles and we'll see this kick back on again yield right. do we have <laughs> very little oh so very little I'm extremely tempted to put in a uh, liquid lock right here. Radiation sources will be going out like this. Probably a good idea to set one up right now. Not to worry about it later. Okay, that nap though. Highest temperatures in here can reach 400 degrees. Couldn't handle 538, so it should be fine. If we break 400, though, the nuclear reactor will go off, so this will be the least of my worries over this. Real fun begins trying to get this cable on the pipe all the way up. This actually needs to be cut across. Like so. Don't know if I'm going to have enough ceramic to do this. Oh, this is going to be tight. Technically, this pipe needs to go through here. Real tight. 
It has to reach up here. <laughs> I have to actively get an ceramic tube all the way across. Personally, I think I can ignore this component here. Go about there. I can just make this little city. Just to cut on the to reduce the cost on the ceramic. I guess will need to be done that way because it's intersecting with very sensitive equipment. And over here is okay. And this will allow me to cut back on some of the ceramic. Stuff to be rejigged. Uh, we will do a pipe rework here very soon. Like this will all get shrunken down into this system down here, and then most of this over here will probably. I think this will stay. The bathrooms and this basic setup, this will all stay. This pipe right here needs to actually be moved, even though this is like a pipe right here. My in mass radiator can probably stay as well. piping to put down over time. <sighs> soon. Very soon. There's a diamond shipping. Ah, oh, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> yeah, 0 0.4 cycle. Okay, cool. He'll be back really shortly. Still need more Napa. Oh, that real quick. Eventually, these will no longer be in use, and then every all of this will be fully connected. Right now, that's a little bit of a pipe dream for me. <laughs> It'll happen. It's going to take some time. I also need to make a very, very heavy-duty shipment of gold from Drapolo back to main base. Because, uh... Well, this is actually almost operational soon. Be pretty good. Uh, this does need to be cleaned out by one more pipe. Paper move. Nope. Are we having overload? Who is. How are we? Too much energy being injected into the system? Looking like. Uh, yes. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're not actually capable of dying because I'm constantly feeding them a very, very tiny amount of uh, polluted oxygen. As long as they get groomed, they actually are okay. okay. Which is weird, but that's how it works.
probably repurpose this pipe for space uh, exhaust. Probably a good idea. Speed this up. Let's just go again, guys. Two and three, ten and eight. Good. Keep doing that. Get this up, up and operational soon as well. That up. Oh, we can keep our pipe rolling. Just a uh, high priority that. There, why do you have wounds? What did you do? Again with the. Let me guess. Where is he? Yamato, why are you saying you're trapped? I think this is going to become a normal thing with these guys. For some reason, they just. They go down the fire pole. And then they get, they jump onto the ladder, and then it gives them a warning. And I'm like, this is why I rarely use fire poles, because it causes weird pathfinding issues when you're really deep into the game. This has always been the norm. I just felt that it was worth using it here on Butalan, because we just had a giant area of space that's just not going to happen anything. Lo and behold, it still decides to rear its ugly head again. <laughs> Why is this bug still here? <gasps> we have a purple polyester. Oh yeah. Um, Nima, you're not bad, but you're not great. You're a gourmet though. And that's a problem. Uh, can't do doctoring, can't do cooking, building, operating. Buy nails. You're also kind of me. Standard copper ore, or, or uh, sorry, standard copper, not as good as copper ore. Yeah, purple polyester. Um. What am I researching? Um, it's a two dupe. Right, Pencil, you have some researching skills just because I need you to have them. You get the upgraded suit. Congratulations. Do, 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 do. You already have an outfit? Dude, you have a snap oh you have a standard snap. There you go. And that means that Ricaria gets nasty. So we get an upgrade for it. I mean you are the senior here anyway. That's fine. Please move this up out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna stand. Oh, we're good. 5.1 tons. Okay, cool. We're doing okay on the stand front then. That's something I pay attention to because we're not producing that much over there. Poor bear's been stabbed a lot. I assume it's the bees, but I don't know. With you. Gonna higher priority all of the construction. That way I can fix them later. 
Okay, make sure all the pipes are pretty much laid where they need to be for future expansions, and then... Yeah. Got a ceramic for sure. This will be right over the nuclear reactor. So yes, all of the snap that will get removed from this pipe will be switching it out for the ethanol here. These two segments will be linked up here, severed here, and all of this piping of all of this ethanol, you can see going all the way up here, will be repurposed and removed. We no longer need, in the future, we will no longer need a steam rocket. Obviously, I have to get everything else ready beforehand, but yeah, soon we won't be using it anymore. It does have its uses. Extremely effective at what it does. It's very slow and very tedious. <laughs> Made things annoying, but sustainable. Oh, it's so close to having it. Dang it. We're almost there. Probably needs one more blob removed. Oh, that's frustrating. I also need to get this for petroleum. Let me go check up the column real quick. Good. Temperatures. Well, not great. Just workable. It's gonna be such a pain to remove. Keep looking at it and it's just like slowly but surely we will get through this. We will gain access to the outside world on this planet without needing the teleporter. Will become a thing. I also need to set up a suit dock here so I can come in here and build some extra stuff. I'm pretty sure somebody got sculpted while doing this. Hundred, I want it two thousand hundred above two thousand hundred. Any other resource I have no other resources. Oh a pain. I'm probably going to have some burn victims here. <laughs> uh, yep. <sighs> well, they stand here, they'll be fine. Got it. I want to automate this for water production, so that's why we're doing this. I also have been slowly funneling my excess space water that I've been injecting to get rid of it, because we keep producing way too much water. Um, I've been injecting that over to the other planet finally again. And yes, mega builds always require a lot of time. <laughs> That's why this is tedious at best. Frustrating at worst. Not the worst thing ever. Definitely tedious. Uh, Dibs, can you bring me this petroleum real quick? Put it. A lot more coming in right now. I could probably send petroleum over here. If I wanted. 
We do have a lot of naphtha to work with and an infinite supply of plastic, so... Don't mind utilizing it for pretty much everything. Anywhere where I would normally use petroleum, I can use plastic. Not a wonder material, it just gets the job done. That's also, yeah, it's just really nice seeing my dude being able to run down there. Downside, obviously, is we are running out of throughput. Kilograms. Hey, if I said anyone in this room, <laughs> for sure, one hundred percent, they're not going to like me much. I might need to start redirecting where my petroleum's going, because I mean we're making so much of it that I, I don't even know what to do with it. Uh, that's always normally my issue with petroleum. It's like I burn off tons and tons of it, but then I also just end up producing more. Well, 22 cycles. That's more than enough to last all of it and run all of this and probably burn it off continuously. I mean, it would still refill the entire thing twice over. That's just... <laughs> I need to triple this so that way I can have enough storage for one of these stupid cool steam guns. Uh, and also build a physical container for the water. Still don't know if that would be enough. Steam vents are nuts. They're great, they're just nuts. Also, I should turn this off. Turn that back in space. All I gotta do is this. Nine. I'll get around to doing it eventually. I'll move pretty quick. That up. Down. Move the lime. Go order a sweep on that. The butcher's in here still. And 9.3. Okay. Pretty sure it's all the water. Yep. And it is. Okay, good. Start refilling our rockets real quick. Not really real quick, but we'll get everything back to actually refilling the nuclear rocket. And then the big change. That one's filled. You can go hit up this guy. I've been waiting for a while to get my hands on because fullerene that's renewable. Yes! Uh, thank goodness. We can make super coolant. <laughs> uh, so happy with that. The only thing is, is I do need to set up a beacon and start shooting actual petroleum over here. I was actually kind of planning on just shoving it here. <laughs> Like here, and then adding a cargo drop off here. Amalgam. one that goes to the other no that okay 
That'll be an easy mansion. Copper. There we go. Keep forgetting that. I'm just like, yeah, I need to add a beacon at some point. <sighs> and that we can actually do a couple trips for uh, resources. We're pretty much golden at this point. Let's grab the food. Gonna allow everyone through so that way we can clean this up. Normally I only allow just Gene in because he's the one who keeps using the wall toilet. And this is the easiest, this is the easiest way to clean this out. At this point. Just water, 7 degrees. Yeah, all of it's going to the, the Palin. I need to restock the water. Really need to send over some more refined resources so we can automate picking up all the fish. Well, all the fish sticks, so to speak. We keep wasting them. <laughs> I keep staring at them every time I come back here, and I'm just like, so much wasted calories! Ah! <laughs> Damn it, dupes. Uh, I know you guys can't get over there effectively, so it's fine, but yeah. I don't want to waste the steel for this. I didn't need to. We can just daisy chain this. Yeah, we can. Sort of. Um. Right there. There. And there. Reach there. Let's also raise the water level, but this should allow me to do at least some basic adjustments. Copper ore. We'll just have to use steel for this. Natural tiles, but I also like natural tiles. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to waste natural tiles here for the time being. I don't have the functionality to pull that. But you have plenty of power, so it's not that big of a deal. We're slowly getting all the every natural tile I can put plants on. I put them on to increase food production for this place. For no actual consumption. A slow and tedious mess. Let's get the job done. Okay. People are definitely going to get burnt doing this. Hurry the hell up. 
Oh, I know. Hurry, buddy. You get burnt, run. Go. Need to go. Don't care. Go. <laughs> run. <laughs> it's hot. Run. <laughs> Fine. Just run. And leave you guys alone, I think. You, we will have some small burns. That's fine. Be expected. Just take care of the problem. Also, nice job. Aviation. Bees, I'm assuming. Yep. Bees. All working again. Gonna get refilled. Up the priorities on these and that. Otherwise, pretty sure we can link these two up and it'll be fine. Yeah, it should be okay. Sever this. Need to sever. Not that one. Yes. I should probably just sever it here. Well, I can add a liquid vent of it. Drain the rest of that. Pump the rest of this water through. Dump it up here. And send all of the excess petroleum through the cooling loop. Get the cooling loop pipe rolling. Once that happens, I can start redirecting all of the automation. Um, obviously, this just needs to get a piece. <laughs> one piece of obsidian. I know the other one's granite, but one piece just in case. I also really, really, really need to build a tree scrubber over there. That's the way. Good news. That is not. That could be repurposed right there. Boom done. So, I'm part of that. I'm part of that. Nope, no! Damn it. Scoop. Ah, fine. Leave them to that. That's fine. Nine. Don't think I need to send any more petroleum over to me over to uh, Jabola. I think I literally need it at main base. So that's what we're gonna start sending. 
We're going to need it for all of the super coolant. And personally, if I can get super coolant instead of needing to use nuclear waste for the system, then this would be infinitely more useful because it would be a lot more efficient. Mind you, I don't mind using nuclear waste as a radioactive coolant because it will get everywhere anyway. But if that becomes a thing, then I literally do not need this pump. <laughs> Only need it for the initial section of it. I'd also make it so I wouldn't need to make a second one over here. Yeah, if we can rush super coolant here, I think it'll be a lot better. Need to worry about oxygen generation suits, actually. I mass, I could probably pressurize the entire planetoid if I really wanted to for just O2. I'm looking for any faults or anything I messed up. Like over here, we are getting some CO2 buildup, but that's why we have a mini gas pump to take care of it. Yep, see we're doing okay. Dirt, dirt's still going up positive. That's all that matters. The entire base literally runs on this stuff, so. When dirt starts going negative, we have a problem. Higher priority that to get it done. Should fully optimize everything. Go bad for Zabi. Oh, Zabi space, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hot. I know it's hot. Very hot in there. You really don't want to go into the polluted oxygen environment. You want to stay in the liquid, weirdly enough. There you go. Alex is for three to zero to prevent overpressure. So this is to always fill it and keep a little bit of gas in here. This one is to deal with overpressure. This is now completely automated, and I do not even need to even look at it. And the real issue I have to worry about is the temperature. Because, technically speaking, I believe that the cap temperature of most of the equipment in here will be around 112. Because of all the excess polluted water that will get generated, it has a theoretical limit coming out of the machine. Uh, it should be fine, but it could just end up turning into steam. And I have no way of getting rid of it. Bad news, there's plenty of room, it will just hover up here. Bad news, it will continue to make steam. <laughs> so eventually it will become a problem. So let's just do this. this. But reclaiming more food. Those. There we go. So much extra. <laughs> what in the world? Where did this nuclear waste come from? I don't know. To be honest, I kind of don't want to know. Uh. Like, all right, it's all through tiles again. Oh, joy. The problems persist. Hey, how are you flooded? Flooded yourself with only 386, and only it's 450. Huh. Oh, easy remedy. I 
could repurpose the water. But I kind of don't care. I'd have to cool it down, and I really don't care. Uh... I'm technically slightly cooler than I am generating on heat. Which is good. There's quite a few things that are generating more energy. Mostly these. There we go. We have long strands of polluted water coming down, but that'll be fine. It'll sort itself out. Nope, we have self <laughs> we have self duplicating stuff again. Uh, eventually I'll get this cleaned up. <laughs> eventually. Six up X. Fine. There. They not like you? No? No? I seem to be okay with your existence. Doesn't mean I'm not concerned. <laughs> Probably clean that all on up as well. Mopping up some extra stuff. So we can have a clean environment when we start up when we actually start up the nuclear reactor in a little while. Come on guys, go faster. New fluids here. Yes, there is. I was like, oh yeah, we got radiation blocking, nine percent. Ah, how much nuclear waste is leaking out again? Yeah. I still don't know why this bugs out like this. It makes no sense. Like, I can physically add a tile here, come down here, and then mop this up, and it will mop up the tile components with the stuff in it. By the way, these are airflow tiles, and due to version updates, we've actually had sometimes nuclear waste get into the airflow tiles. But not in gaseous form, just as actual nuclear waste in liquid form. It's really weird and derpy and doesn't make any sense, but it just kind of happens sometimes. New principles. What do we get? A Weezwort? They do exist. Okay, um... Another really good rancher. Uh, undigging, German, night owl. And, I mean, we already have a really good rancher. We just got one that's 14 and fantastic. I think I'll have to hold off on you. At least for the time being. I gotta let them skill up first. Digging, don't need it. Honestly, don't need it. Weezwort's much more important. Uh, where do we want to put the Weezwort, though? That is a good question. You know what? The talent could use it. I can always use more Weezworts. I'm actually thinking that what we do is, is I set up Put a Weezwort here, and a Weezwort here. I 
and technically one there. We have... well... <laughs> let me just check real quick. These words require the fertilized material that comes from Echoes. So it's just phosphorite, right? Yep. How much phosphorite do we have on this planet now? Because I have been running an infinite amount. Holy... <laughs> Oh dear god. I forgot to check that number. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. How much phosphorate do we produce here? Um 226.1 tons of it. Hmm. I see. That's so much phosphorite. <laughs> I think it's time we finally start using it. Sure it goes you know, release some radiation, it'll be not too big of a deal. I might even use this to actually mutate plants such as the Spencer pump or not, but we'll find out. The thing is, is it needs 35 degrees, so I gotta be a little careful with that one. Let's see if I can get a mutant before it happens. I kinda wanna see how much cooling this actually gives. I forgot about that. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot the other byproduct of the infinite food supply that is Drekos. Yeah. <laughs> they overproduce way too much. Uh, there's so much fuss everywhere. Okay, how bad's the radiation? Not great. Workable, but not great. We just decayed where? Please don't tell me it's more, you know, Paku. Every planet I see this. Oh, no. Just pinch pepper nuts. That's fine. I'm actually super interested to see how this works. And mind you, this is so much over radiation, it's ridiculous. It's a little concerning, but <laughs> I'm just kind of like, you know what, yeah. I've got two glow stick dupes out of my five, and they'll be fine, I think. <laughs> they should be fine. My main interest is to see how much cooling they actually provide in this environment. I mean, in theory, they could actually lower the entire base's temperature down to my normal cooling rate. I would just need to add them over here to really use them. What, five between so I don't have radioactive overlay? Yeah, about. There's still radiation output due to being fueled. Only consume phosphorite, right? Yeah, no dirt consumption. Okay, cool. We're down to 32 from 40. Being yellow. <laughs> See, yellow from orange. Oh my. Uh, how about the radiation, though? 250. Not great. About the same amount as out in space. Uh, thankfully, this is all mostly automated. I just have to deliver once in a while. And hey, at least the, uh, the temperature should start to fall over here. That's good. I'm mostly just meme testing with these things. I mean, they've been nerfed so many times very rare for me to ever use Weezworts because I only use them for radiation generation when space radiation is really bad and we have no other sources. 
Then they're really, really useful. But for cooling purposes, they're kind of pointless. Just barely. It radiates to here. This one will radiate to there. So this area is a no, like a no man's land, but no one will walk this way. They'll walk here, but not that way. I'll come back later and see how the uh, chill is working. Nine should continue to fuel them. We have on um, literal infinite phosphate. <laughs> phosphate actual uh, phosphorite. But it's just oh dear goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Just to clean up the remaining excellent water. All of that was green, so I can step this. Don't even need this. Very nice. Industrial cooler is almost there. Very soon it'll get operational. Start realigning all of the uh, conveyors and start moving everything together. Sick. There. Oh, looking good, looking good. turbines. I don't want to take any risks, so we're just steal everything in here. <laughs> no risks. Not not doing that. I refuse. Oh. And well, I know you're probably what is your actual thing? Uh stamina seventy percent. You know what? That's actually perfectly fine. As long as I'm seeing that you're not at like a hundred percent then you're good. I know the narcoleptic naps, so I'm in all of my bases, it's always below 30% stamina whenever they have one, just because of how I've got them set up. In most cases, they'll have a narcoleptic nap when they hit zero, because I will have exhausted them completely, and then they have a narcoleptic nap, and then they wake up normally within like five seconds, because they just, they can't actually have a narcoleptic nap at zero stamina, so the game just doesn't calculate it. That's why I like them so much. I know some people are like, oh, narcolepsy are so terrible, they fall asleep, whatever they're doing. It's like, yeah, that's why you never schedule them sleep schedules and you force them awake 24-7. They can't have a narcoleptic nap if they're at zero stamina. <laughs> They'll just keep working. They don't care. They're literally automatons. Now comes the painful part of doing more pipe spaghetti, so to speak, with cables. <laughs> I just don't have the materials to actually build on this planet effectively. But this should hopefully solve some of the food problems. All of those, and I can do... Spencer. One... Just there, which is reachable, reachable, and 
And this guy is the only one that actually gets loader. Not have the resources for this. Uh, we don't have the resources for this. <laughs> we really don't. God damn it. I'm literally bottom of the barrel resources. Okay, okay, um... Ah, oh, crap. Well, I can kind of scoot him over for the time being. I want to automate this really, really badly. But we just don't have the ability to do so. Range is right there. Fill that in, add a mesh tile here. Slap a tier one fridge right here. Oh, a priority one fridge. This will fulfill this thing's orders. And my dupes will come down and grab the, the fish meat out of this thing. And manually deliver it themselves. Up here. Really the only way I can think of it with what limited resources we have on the planet. How much is looking? And when this gets back to green, we'll poke a hole in here again. And we'll keep draining out the lava. It's a very slow and tedious process. I know I've said it many a time, but and eh, it's just slow. Also, this is this whole system is now working perfectly as intended. Oops, we have some sand, right? Yeah, we do. One of you grabbed it. Come on. Get down. Oh, wait, no, you already did it. Okay, never mind. Wait, no, oh, the pipe's already clean. 150 kilograms is not enough polluted water in my book, but I don't have to do. Mop that up. We'll remove. This pipe here. Probably take this excess polluted water and ship it around as we need it. Probably clean all of this up though. I'll, I'll need to scoot this over a bit. Actually, need to do this and this, so I'll have overflow for the entire pipe. This needs to be there. So close. I'm so close to having this thing up and operational. Come on, dudes, hurry it up. <laughs> I, know I'm I know I'm working you guys overtime, but come on. Hurry it up, guys. Please. I need this. Once this is done, I can patch all of this stuff up with insulation. We can link everything up. I can even get this vented. 
put steam inside, and we can get all of these things running. Now, the real big problem, obviously, is going to be getting all of these connected properly. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is going to be painful. You look like shit. Has to be separated. This cable has to go all the way across and connect everything. I'm sitting here just dying inside, like, ah, cable management. This is gonna look like fucking shit. I have no other way to describe it. It's gonna look ho like actually hideous. Uh, but I can't really overlay the cables together. Because all of the molten rock, all the molten metal, all of these volcanoes, all going to cross inside of the cable pound, like actual, yeah, heavy watt cable mound that'll be going around everything. <sighs> Should never do this, but kind of has to be done. Not again. Where? Those temperatures. Green and green. Green, green, and green. Where are you? Wiggly potatoes. You are not trapped. You're just debating about using the fire pole in the wrong direction. That's why it's giving that error. Can't path his way back. He's like, wait a minute. That doesn't work as a way up. Hungry, hungry, hungry. I know you're hungry, guys. Come on. Straight up. I will admit this, though. The amount of power that we are going to be generating from all of this, I don't think our base is going to run out of power at any point unless... Every single volcano is off at the same point. And all the backup generators are also down. And also all the aquatutors are running. <laughs> it would require all of that. And even then, I still don't know. There's a lot of juice. Like, a lot of lot of juice that they, they're going to be pumping out. Got some of those materials. Go 
And then otherwise I'm going to force this. <laughs> Finish or else, I swear to God. Uh, Iron Jesus will not be pleased with you. Hurry it up. Cover that real quick. Thank you. No longer have all the boats on that line. Most of this. Oh, well, it's going to be heavy watt right across. This will get converted into heavy watt. This will get converted to heavy watt. This will branch up and connect. And there should be everything on one primary network done. It even branches off if I really want to. He's finished connecting everything, so all of this starts working again. <laughs> Please. Please and thank you. soon all this going through everything That's the other one I gotta be careful of because I got finally have to go down and around and branch this over so there's nothing to transfer. Go around like that and go up there. Get the suburb.
rip that thing. So bad for the LG chunk, but there's nothing I can do about that. There we go. Now we'll just drop off the resources right here. Eventually I'll set this up as a automated launching system. And we'll just ship both of them out this way. This one, but oh well. Uh, it's fine. the base is actually generating a lot more power and we're pretty much just connecting all the batteries together well, it's actually looking pretty good massive plus still so much more work to do on that system but the at least it's almost completely finished I must be happy when I can finally turn this thing on Connect all of these up. And just flash cool all the liquid metal. <laughs> That's gonna be the best feeling in the world. Oh man. I'm gonna this down. Reduce temperature transfers. How, uh, how many more cycles? 3.3. And this will kick back in. Oh, crazy good stat. Going to assume bees? Yep. If I see no bees in here, normally that tells me that someone went in there and got poked. Also, there is a random cuddle pip ran stuck down. We got suit problems. One and only downside. A lot of extra spares running around. Oh, yes. Sir. Animation, take care of it. I haven't stripped out all the diamond yet. I 
Oops, we do have a spot for that. Oh, wait, never mind. It's full. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> like, I see. Um, hmm. I guess I can put down some more containers. Uh, please? Yeah, that's fine. We'll set that for diamonds. That way I can at least have it easily accessible for there. That's some principles. Right. Ooh, and some sand. Mari, who is a decorating iron that early bird kitchen menace. Anemic <laughs> Ada, I am so sorry. Uh, Amari, you're not bad. But I don't really need another decorator. Also super productive instead of, uh... Sparkle Shaker. Ooh. Opus. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll take the sand. Like where we need to go to. Places that were fully operational right now, and we need a lot of it. Gotta continue cleaning all of the air and everything else. How is the uh, germ situation? Ah, it's actually mostly contained. Good. Good. A little bit there, obviously down here, and. Over here in the polluted oxygen area. Oh, it is improving. Good. Development comes with cleaning. Oh. Happen with time. There's our suit situation. Four out of oxygen now. The overuse. to be now don't go up there nope yep goodbye little guy run what are you doing run Oh, nuclear waste. I think it's time that we finally let this area cool down and see where it gets to. Because there is a cooling loop going around. It is doing a pretty good job. But if I can actually kick the temperatures down to like negative 20, then I think I will, we can actually run everything. But I do need to cool down this area again. Mostly because we'll remove the hydrogen and switch it for oxygen. Oh, there's all died of old age <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> keep forgetting about the way the death waves with these. They only last three days. <laughs> oh yeah, keep forgetting about that. They all pop out at the same time and they all explode at the same time. So close. We're so close. <laughs> Damn it. Soon. Well, I should probably turn on the radiant one first. This is the only one that should be running on a regular basis. It's also going to drain our main base's power supply considerably for a while, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, 
this is the one that needs to run the most. The start to get everything normalized in temperature over here. Everything should be kicked down to about, I think, what, like 25, which will probably put it at maybe 15 degrees. How much material I'm going to be freezing down seems reasonable. And all of these will kick off once you know, all the power starts raining in once I get everything connected. All this plugged in. Do that up. Alan, how you doing? He's firing back at main base. CCR changes. Good. Uh, Dave, can I borrow you to unclog the uh, petroleum generator? There you go. You're good, you're good. It just needed a little um, server update, so to speak. <laughs> Technically, it was a tick game update, but that's not the point for our Unity. Bring it down there. I still need to get Squeaky Puffs over here and get them set up on this. I'll have to automate a lot, actually. And I need to flood this, too. I can use this as excess power. Big issue. I really need to get the water down here. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's actually working pretty well. This is a germ situation. Oh, they, <laughs> the radiation obliterates them. Ha <laughs> ha, great success. I had a feeling it would. I normally like putting radioactive stuff near my toilets. Just really, really effective at germ killing without needing chlorine everywhere. These have even kicked this down to 24 degrees. Well, at least the Weezword still function in the usual amount. I'll accept it. That's not quite nice, actually. This is all nice and automated, so we really do not need to care. That's great. You guys handling temperatures, starting to see the green. I mean, we're dealing with, li you know, liquid magma, so it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. That's looking very good. <sighs> need to get my pips and everything going. Okay. This needs to be, right. I need organic eggshells, and I want, get the eggs over, need these for cleaning stuff up, I also need food if I can get them, I doubt it. Meat. Can I actually send that through? Because I know I can send meat via compostable. That doesn't. I don't think that counts towards the fish meat. It's its own thing. Uh, it looks like we can't. I if I can be cheeky with this. Because I know I need to scoot the eggshells to the left, and I need to scoot the rot piles as well when they spawn. Uh, don't don't bring me that without them being people. Uh, this needs your one edible. I need not cooked seafood. I need regular clean seafood. Okay. Yep, looks like I can't send it. I was gonna send it via compostable, but it doesn't look like. Fish meat is compostable. 
which is weird, but okay. Um, I guess we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Send all the stuff via conveyors. This is so painful. <laughs> so much resources. Uh. Ow. Downside, that means that this needs to be scooted over there, and that needs to be scooted over there. I was really hoping I could move the fish out. So, Paku, why are you all in here? I mean, I approve, but what in the world is going on over here? really hoping they're being compostable. I was like, what do you mean they're not? God dang it. <laughs> and well. Take care of most of the polluted oxygen that's come barreling down from up here, from all the polluted water, from the polluted ice. And when that finally cools down, we'll continue work on that. Helen's just kind of rundling along with no problems. You need to figure out how we're going to get water. I think I'm going to wait for this to start running again. And then I'll set this to dump water down here, and I'll send petroleum down here for a cooling loop. Yeah, that's probably the best decision I can do. Obviously, all of that needs to be cleaned out. All this cleaned out, then I can pour water in here. We'll fill this box here. And I'll get petroleum through here. Cooling loop. Yeah. How much water? Yeah. <laughs> uh, God dang. I am looking forward to that. We'll allow them to clean that out. Get work on that. And that's all free power anyway. Just, hey look, we got a volcano. We'll just get all the free stone and uh, energy out of it, and I don't have to care. This one obviously will be a petroleum boiler. And then, if I need to, I can always get super coolant over here and build a giant methane plant. That'd be fun. I'm still thinking that maybe one day we'll make a niobium melter. Well, technically a tungsten reducer, I should say. It's still insane to do one, but I still keep thinking about it. The one project I've never really put myself to it. Like massive desalinator? Check. Multiple times, actually. Nuclear reactor? A couple times now. We don't have that many playthroughs of nuclear. Or what, number two and a half? Yeah, because I've done testing with it, but that's about it. Feel bad for this one because of all the neutronium here. There's really nothing I can do about it. It'll just have reduced cooling. And everything else is pretty much put in place. Max piping is ready. I need to get ready and I need to start stripping stuff. I don't know what we'll do with this one. To be honest, I might repurpose this for the base cooling and then take this one and use it for the Rodriguez cooling up here. Pull this down. I can do that. I would dump out all the. Uh, yeah, I could just switch the actual pipe systems. 
I'll have to drain the ethanol first, though, of course. We drain the ethanol, take all the polluted water, shove it into this one, and then we just take super coolant, I guess, and do that one. By that point, we'll probably start switching everything over to super coolant. I don't really need a base cold super coolant, though. Polluted water works just fine. Zero point seven cycle. Ooh, and both go down like that, around. Pull the liquid lock here. It's just a Caution, I'll put an actual nuclear suit here before, obviously, way before we put in the uh, other stuff. Uh, let's suit checkpoints. These bad boys are going right here. I only really want like two to three dupes in here at any point, and I really want to make sure that they can't gain access to the nuclear enriched uranium sitting right here. I'll probably have to put a door right there. Prevent them from going anywhere. Well, anywhere over here. That's all safe to build now. I do it one layer at a time. Thanks, Bear. I don't know, he's running on 6% six, six stamina. Oof. Okay, what's your skills at now? 3 and 4, good. Good. Pencil, what are you at? 10 and 9, cuisine is at 4. I really need to boost your cuisine skills. I think they just need to increase your researching skill points. Now, enhanced branching. Nope, they're getting there. Ah, dupes. Dupes, dupes. I think the entire cooling loop was actually filled. Hooray! Finally get rid of you. And deconstruct you, too. What did I... I really don't want to stay there. You know you're standing at the doorway to a nuclear reactor. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's not online yet, but you're literally in the pathway. Come on. Get up, man. Yeah. 
actually a pretty big dent there. Good. Oof. That's hot. Okay. Um. Just uh, pick that up. <laughs> Get the heck out of there, shall we? Minus 20. Come on, guys. I'll pick this up and move it out of the way. Now we can cut down on temperature transfers. Nine point nine tons left. So nice watching all my dibs come out here and do this simultaneously. Ah. Good peepers. Rapidly cleaning everything up for me. Very, very good. Still this giant chop pile of rocks, but at least it's not 20 tons anymore. It's now down to 4.8. Some people need toilets, though. I'll have to wait for them to do that. Daisy, are you coming in here to use the bathroom? That's fine. Yep. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, don't have to worry about the poops. But, good news. More diamonds for storage. How close are we there next? Oh boy, we're very close. We're about to that, and then we'll all get scooted. Seven point two tons of nuclear waste. Oh man. Cannot wait. I really can't. I'll be so happy when we actually can start producing like 400 tons of nuclear waste into one tile. It'll be beautiful. I'll never need to worry about rabble generation again, and I can just start, I can actually build our next rocket launch pad. That's I might want to actually start doing that now. No, I need to finish the nuclear. I need to finish the reactor. Reactor comes first. Ugh. I want to build that though. <laughs> it's like, I want three nuclear rockets back to back to back. And I want constant launches every cycle. That's the true end game goal for me at every single base. You're not what is required of this, only that it gets done. Also, this sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna have one turbine. Uh. Heat needs chromium. Really do. <laughs> I'm not dev moding it. I refuse. Still trying to go for achievement. Need to get everything stabilized before I do anything. Like it actually like fully push for stuff. Also 
so I can probably remove this cable. Let's clean that up. How much extra gold do we have? Not actually that much. No, nope, they're not idle anymore. I'm in still dormant for 2.5 cycles, so we'll start getting more shipments of gold again. And a baby pipsqueak. Add in another solar panel here. Take this down a bit. to send over some more glass, looks like. That's fine. I know the building's flooded. That's fine. Everybody go to the left. <laughs> go that away. I need to recover him. <laughs> He's kind of stuck. Um, yeah, well. Figure something out to recover him. Actually, uh, Pencil, you have any more skills? No. Oh, yeah, you got anything? Uh, you have ranching. So they give you ranching, but you can't do anything in the base technically until we get more fish materials. So I'm going to give you basic research to increase your actual skill gains. Scrub you later. I don't have to worry about you. So close. We'll have our first one online very soon. This is done. This thing going. Alan, how goes cleaning up this temperature check? Green and ethanol. There's still 37 up there. I'm green over there. Nine ninety. That's to be expected. 
Pressure. Good. Me reactivating. Okay. I have to send more resources over to actually get this whole set up. There's literally nothing I can do about this. Maybe we could do it via compostable? Nope. I can't cheese the system when it's not regular. Uh, well, I at least got that done. Went. Going now. Splitting perfectly, which it is. Good. Got 48.5 cycles of polluted water to come in, store in here, and barely get used. Cool this down. Having some pipe breakage though. Be a bit too hot for some of these. Yep. They're a small bit causing pipe damage. I'm going to up this to 200. Actually, no. We'll do 400. That way it stops coming in in small blobs. And just pump only large components. See, when they're large, it's fine. But when it, it's too small, it causes breakage. It will have to come back in here at some point. Now, Good news is, is the sexers are wiping out almost all of my CO2 problems, <laughs> which we had 300 kilograms in here at one point. Or what, 400 over here? Yeah. We'll get that cleaned out eventually. Now then, I heard the printing pod. Oh, barbecue. Very nice. Architree 11 pilot. They can't do digging. It hurts. God damn it, game. Why? Uh, the one thing I can't live with on a rocket pilot, because whenever we go to a new planet, digging errands need to be done, and then they just sit around like a bunch of idiots and don't do anything. Half the time they won't even go and collect things, because they're, well, they just refuse to do it via priorities. Because it's like, oh, well, I didn't dig that up. I'm not going to pay any attention to it. Frodo has this problem, and it's infuriating sometimes. <laughs> Kitchen menace farming swing. Uh, you know what? I think we're gonna take the barbecue. That would be really nice. Barbecue we have over here. Actually, no, plenty there. You guys, right? Yeah, you guys have. You guys haven't had barbecue in forever. <laughs> when I warp you back to main bases, when you get barbecue. In all honesty, not that much for five of you, but. At least it's something. There. We should get them to store it. To be honest, they'll probably go rushing over and you know, eat it first. So that's perfectly fine. The barbecue privileges are very limited to only when creatures naturally die. Eventually it'll actually become fleet wheat. <laughs> That'll be their primary source of food. And this base will just be Paco, I think. Paco and Pips. If I was going to be Paco and probably mushrooms, probably going to keep with the mushrooms. It's been a while since I've actually made a mushroom farm. Yeah, you can actually see the effect of the cooling unit. 
working well. This is not working well. I'm just need to paint. <laughs> That up. This rock. That. Specialize. That thing's removal. Start up the first building unit. Those mean I need to peel that off. We can technically climb down here without much issue, but still. Use the temperature output from here and do the cooling. Also remove this one because I no longer need to ship the gold over here to the far, far corner. I think all of these have been all connected, correct? Yes. We'll start with one gold volcano, and then we'll keep expanding the overall usage as we need it. This power line right here actually needs to be moved. Proto, Proto, are you having a moment? Oh, no. <laughs> He's having a moment. Uh, you, you good? Nope, nope, nope. Proto, you can make it. There you go. <laughs> he was having a moment. I was like, um, Proto, you okay? In trouble there, dude. This. around. Keep doing this, but that's the way it works. I'll make it look better once we actually have everything plugged in. Like this just looks like shit, so I'll just make a straight line over and down and over. Yeah. I'll add some aesthetics so it doesn't look like literal crap. <laughs> right now there's not much I can do about that. Bear with it guys. Sorry chat. Up that for the speed boost. And up that as the connection. Who has full bladder right now? Water 96%. The bathroom. Hey, what are you at? 41%. Okay, you can keep working. Uh, 
I need to send over more refined resources <laughs> and more water, of course. Uh, damn it. Need to get more of those resources and send them back. That's the real issue right now. Melt all that plastic down. Features are green over here. Which means that I can actually affect temperatures over here effectively, which is nice to see. And we'll do 320. Why this is the off gassing, which is becoming a problem at the end of the world. No. So that's again. You burned your sweater, right? Yes. Oh no. I told you to go to the bathroom. I did you not. We're literally on the other side of the planet. <laughs> I ordered you into the bathroom. Come on. Why did Spoon go to the bathroom and you didn't? Run. You've got 50% speed boost pretty much the entire way. Now go. <laughs> Run, you idiot. Run. Random pips running around again. Yay. Oh, I'll make it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> no pissing yourself in my base, please. Please try to avoid that to the best of your abilities. That would be great. We'll need Spoon to come over here and build this, though. That's all connected. Right now, it's not. How bad's the decor? Not great. Well, it is fighting it. When you when you dump this much gold everywhere, it kind of it at least gets it to green in some places, as you can see. Uh, man, that's gonna be horrible. No idea what I'm gonna do to fix this issue. My dupes are gonna have to go through this, and I'm like, the only thing I could do is like add a couple of tiles here and there, <laughs> like so. That's about it. I can beautify it a bit. <laughs> that. Stuff's coming out at 28.5, which is roughly about the temperature of the water. Yep. So yeah, whatever temperature I put this at, this will come out no problem.
only temperature transfer we're going to have is right here until I seal this off. And then everything will be inside of this chamber. Which is why we have to go all the way around the entire facility, because everything goes through the center, and all of the pathways that are safe and not molten as hell is on the outside. <laughs> but it is working. That's 98... One. And boom. Yep. All the energy is sapped out of it. Eventually, once we get enough power on this planet, then this will all get chilled. Probably kick this stuff out at like negative 20. <laughs> and then I can ship it to any planet I want with any rocket at any point. The big issue, obviously, is getting the cobalts going at the same time. Oh man, that's hot. <laughs> also, the placement of this one is just awful. Because this has to go through open air. I want a path behind it. Literally the farthest corner of the map. do also need to replace all of this. I don't have it cooking anything off. And technically I need to go like this. I will have to revent this room. Is there won't be any temperature transfer right here, thankfully. But we will have temperature transfer here. I can't really get around the fact of having a heavy watt going through here. Unless I bring it over this way and then down. So technically speaking, I could go... Yeah, I could take this cable down this way. Connect here, and then this will ignore that. Nope. Yeah, I might need to do that. Because I kind of don't want this conveyor crossing paths with this heavy light conductive player. And that would actually free this up a bit. Line. That. This. There. Take the wire. Right up. Double up on this, though. We are running out of gold. Sever this entire line here. So this line will never cross here. So this, what, 1,900-ish temperature material as it's moving along shouldn't melt my cables. Quote unquote, shouldn't. I gotta do this one, but thankfully this is right here, so I can just kind of ease the entire thing. It's like, thankfully, you're right next to my cooler. I don't need to worry about it. Thank goodness. How are you guys doing? Temperature check. In green to blue. One of my usual nice green blue colors. Good. 
33 degrees. When I see that turning purple and this hits 24, then we'll open this again and clean out some more lava. Oh, now you guys all up. Actually, why is it just... Somewhat cleaning up the place. <laughs> A lot of crap to clean up. Uh, temperatures here. I'm seeing green. Yes. 21 degrees. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah. My issue, obviously, this cooling rate right here is being a bit of a nest. <laughs> As you can see. That's a good thing. Oh. That up. Okay. Need it, we'll progress. We'll just skip this area and then steal this one. Like so. Soon we'll be able to just dump material into my base. Yeah, they already grabbed their gold and started using it. <laughs> I'm looking at it like, wait, wait, already took the gold? Looks like it. Oh, that works for me. I should be able to use 100% of the temperature besides those two tiles, which eventually I'll probably seal this off and then make the dupes go around. Again, it's a lot of space that's going to have to get locked off and or automated for anything I want to do, so that way I don't have to have the dupes go through with it and deal with it. The less that I have the dupes doing anything, the better we are. That's pretty nice, though. Even if at the moment it looks derpy, it's just like, ah yes, the automation, it grows. The big issue I have is I have this giant thing of lava to deal with. And this small chunk here. So there's 10 tiles there of how much? 1,500, 1,300. Quite a bit. Obviously, the big issue is that lane right there is stopping me from solidifying the entire planet. Which also does mean that these these four tiles right here the biggest issue. All of that is going to end up pouring into this little tile. <laughs> Unless this starts to solidify. If this solidifies, then this will go very quickly. I'm not at 20 yet. Uh, progressing just slowly. Yeah. Pick up all of that naphtha there. Here. Nine. Now lower this to 150. Entire thing. Thirty-seven, nine. Okay, so it's actually like 109. Hopefully it is enough. They're making a dent.
106, 107. Okay, cool. Come back. Some of it's actually down to 87 degrees. Dang. <laughs> that stuff is cold, which is quite good. Negative 9 degrees gets you pretty far in this game. <laughs> you need to chill something down. One oh four, one oh three. there we go. Okay. Okay, that should hopefully sort everything out. A lot of naps I need to put in here and in here. If I've got to have them mop it up, put down, like build all the tiles, mop it back up, and rinse and repeat, and then pour it back into this room. Uh, how's the rocket coming? We actually add a fill rate. For fill rate, we're just going to go grab the fluorine right now, and we're going to start working on getting uh, super coolant. I was, like, I was going to use nuclear waste, but uh, we've already got it. So close. Ah, three nine seventeen. Ah, come on, come on, rebel generators. You can do it. I believe in you. A little more. A little more. I'm going to leave that one for the time being so we can continue to gain access over here quickly and over here quickly. Yeah, you need power generation. <laughs> I'm about to stick the dupes wheels onto the actual generator. I also need to up the amount of oxygen being produced. Actually, no, I just need to up the dissemination rate. It's still stuck. Disseminate the oxygen around the base a little bit more efficiently, we'll be doing better. 11 degrees. Okay. It was chilling at the last second, but we've already chilled it down considerably. Actually, I'm going to set this one. <laughs> this one will turn on when we get the other stuff online for this one over here. But this one's... This is the right side, this is the left side, and this is the outer rotation. Food poisoning. I haven't seen a food poisoning warning in forever. What did you eat? Barbecue. How did you end up getting food poisoning? Hold up. 
Literally zero surface area. Still environment everywhere. Um. Dying. Is she touch here? And food poisoning. Maybe the polluted dirt chunk? All of our water supply is completely clean, so I'm like, wait, what? Must be a fluke. Oh. Yes. <laughs> They've kicked the temperatures down to 77 degrees. More power. Considerable cooling. Engaged. Wonderful. Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Only one of five is blocked right now. One of five is blocked on this one. But it doesn't actually count that this turbine is not actually blocked, even though it's in a vacuum. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> it's effective because it's not pulling in as much steam, but it's not actually recognizing it. That's funny. <laughs> This massive machinery of doom. Uh, oops, I really need you guys to take all this nap thought and shove it in this box. Twenty nine degrees. Turning blue. Let's poke a hole in it. Speed this up a bit. How I'm doing? I've been ordering some cleanup. They are doing it. Good. Good, good, good. Cycles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Not even dead. Which, to be honest, is kind of a concern, but on the other hand, I'm just like, eh. Fine. My temperature in here is actually falling. Good. It'll be a while before I start seeing some impacts of that. It is starting to fall. Good, which means we're deleting more heat than we're... Well, removing more heat than we're uh, producing, which is good. We're technically deleting heat, but we're not deleting it there. So, not technically count. I'm so tempted to break this missile. <laughs> Go steam. Simulate everything. But I know I shouldn't. Hmm. Is it losing mass right now or not? Normally this thing loses mass over time. Oh, actually losing mass right now. Huh. The temperature's being drained, but that's about it. Wait a minute. Can I do the insane thing? I can. <laughs> Doop, I need you to come over here and mop this. <laughs> this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Please come mop this. Uh, 
I don't care who it is. Somebody can mop that. Look away for a second and hopefully someone will get the order. Increase my power generation considerably over here. I might need to actually build a CO2 plant. Wherever eggs. Um Lindsay Sting Amari Critter Rancher. Uh Rocketry Operating Building Impaired. Eh. Not bad, but your interests are very low. Liam is pyre. And handy, which is nice for building. Problem, odd sleeper. Not horrible, but it is annoying to work with. Sorry, dupes. Maybe next time. Uh, we will take the larva eggs. We need to take them on a proper planet. Talon technically can house them, and I can put them in a corner. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, who has currently got the toilet warning? 35. Who is currently queued up to come over here and work on this thing? Who is it? One of you is doing it. Where are you? Oop. Why is 47%? Oh, you hit 100%. Okay. Okay, so it was definitely... It was crazy. Okay, cool. <laughs> IWCG. <laughs> got it. I was, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, who's got the problem with the toilets? Oh, somebody in the base. Never mind. They're probably eating or something. Now then, uh, let's call in the larva eggs. And I will need to set the thing to drop them down. God, I'm just going to dump all larva eggs in here. And that is it. Yeah, that's it. I don't have to worry about them. Okay, uh, back to dealing with the industrial cooler and the nuclear power plant. Definitely need to cabling. We need to add more batteries. Planet Red needs more everything. Hmm. I think just isolating the natural gas generators finally and cleaning this all up. Yeah. I need to increase power generation here so that we stop having brownouts. When all the volcanoes go, it's not an issue, but it's just when we're not dealing with that, then it's a problem. As you can see. These kick on, boom, no problem. Should be accessible. Are you coming down here to help me with this? We do need to move this time. Yep. Fill that container. I'll have to filter it later.
Yeah, I'll we'll have to filter that one later. Perfectly fine. Now I want polluted, uh, polluted water coming up here for off-casting purposes. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to increase the amount of natural gas generators that we're running. I need to set up another sensor array as well. I don't really need to produce that much extra water yet, I don't think. Might want to automate the water later, but I feel like we should do that right this moment. Yeah, I'll be pretty much taken care of for the one gold volcano. We'll have to do it for the other gold and the other cobalt. Temperature is 77. Okay, good. Well, back to working it full. Capacity. Really need to send more of these. This means more plastic. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Melt that. And this little line here. Once we have napped all over this one, napped all over this one, we can start. Figuring out when we're going to actually put the nuclear reactor in. We're almost done. You pull now? Yes, you are. Good. We aim that. There. I need 25. It may take a little bit. Edible. And. Meow. Ready. Just all right. Not great, but okay. Oh, crazy's bringing the food. That's good. Come on, bud. Fill that fridge. Good. Okay. You may leave. Waiting on Jean to get here. Jean, where are you? There. Oh boy, you're having a sparkle streaker moment. <laughs> yes. Go, Gene! Maximum speed! Use your athletics right now. God, I can click you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Punch it. And all... Also, radiation go! <laughs> oh, man. Stupidly hot. Now oh, off he goes. Gene, what is your athletics with that? Three hundred percent run speed, Sparkle Streaker. Yeah, it's that's absurd. Well, I approve. Will be your first mining mission. Congratulations. You get two point five cycles as long as your suit has oxygen. Found it, you're going to be a little bit janky about trying to get that number down. There'll be five cycles in total back and forth. If he's quick about it. Oh, 
That's pretty good. Yes, expand. Put that away. Slowly inching its way that way. Oh my god. I hate how slow naphtha works. It and petroleum both do this. It's technically working off of like a lava blade, but if you add more mass, it slowly inches its way over. That one. How's it looking? Yep, <laughs> we actually mopped up magma. No burns either. Pretty sure of it, because the temperature's low enough. Yep. Put it in bottles, it'll be fine. Uh, okay, we're down to nine tiles. So, 60. Uh, 100 degrees in here already. Okay, I'm just going to order a refill. One tile. That way we don't blow out the uh, ethanol. I can just leave the bottle in there. It'll be fine. Thanks, Vinard. And you're going to help me with this, would you? Not too hot, buddy. Um, you can build that. Build. Finish it. What do you mean, not the lawn by schedule? That's all bullshit. And then where are you? Walking you in the room. He still refuses. Fine. No. Cactus is on the way. Thanks, Cactus. We're so close. Eh, I know it's hot. No, it's toasty. Not hot. <laughs> if it was hot, it would be melting your suit right now. But it's not. Thankfully, you're safe. looking at Rudabo, just like, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> I'll figure something out, I just don't know now. Your pole is in a better position, so it's just more advantageous to develop this planet over Rudabo. Also has all of my standardized metal ores. And refined ores. Well, you can get this really nice blue and yellow. Oh, golden cobalt. Hey, old nut bud. Having a moment. Right, there you go. He's <laughs> just completely blissed out of his mind. Point one cycles. I'm going to hope he doesn't accidentally end up drilling through this thing. Like, yeah, you can get an artifact here, but I'd rather get the artifact from this because we'll be doing return trips here. I need that, re like, actually refreshing. water in here. Oh, it's because the steam finally condensed. Still little bits of it here and there. 
and a large portion of it did recondense that came in. That's good. Okay, so our plant meat has been refreshed. Don't need to worry about that. Nice and fully automated. Just kind of wondering, how many of uh, the petroleum shots we had come down? Hmm. Should have had a couple. Right now, they're probably in the machine, aren't they? No, they're not. Oh, got too cold. Oh, no. How did we get... Oh, because it's in the freaking cooling loop. That's why. Hold up. I forgot about that pipe. I thought it was just an electric wire back there. Rip. Oops, I need you to disconnect that immediately. Fine if one gets in. The rest has got to go. Quick mop up here. There. And rocketry. Liquid bridge. Right there. Where's my petroleum? It should be here by now. <laughs> Goes and double checks. Ah, oh, shit. It's connected to one of the liquid loops. Oh, god damn it. Okay, one moment. Did it not get in? Oh, no. There it is. That's the good news. It's just going to get sent on up to space. Because <laughs> this is my overflow rate. So I'm like, oh, well, okay, that, that's fine. <laughs> Thank goodness I have so many fail-safes in my systems. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. I'm just like, oh yeah. Thank goodness I designed it in this way that I don't have to worry about it. Technically, this one's going to get sent off to the other planet, but it's going to get dumped into the system. If I come over to the uh, Alan, this will come all the way down here, cross over this way, into here, into this machine, go into there, and then it'll eventually get spat out all the way down here and dumped right here. Oh, I am right there. Must have came through earlier. My excess water is actually filling up my entire system now, which is good. Oh, okay, I need to clean this up. Vicky, why are you the one doing it? Ah, it's too much. So. Ah, crap. Well, I could probably crush it. Oh, I see someone trapped. Wait, no, it's Butalin. Let me guess. You're stuck on the ladder again. Yep. I really hate fireballs. <laughs> like, early on, they're fine. When you start making really big ones, because you need them for a planet that just like, I just don't really feel like putting plastic tubing everywhere. Uh, the dupes really cannot pathfind with them. But they get really big. Just a straight shot, and it's just like, oh, I can't I can't go up the ladder. And it's like, that's not a ladder, you idiot. That's a fire pole. The ladder is the thing you're standing on. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Dude, what the... What are you doing? Just, I can't get up the ladder. That's not a ladder. <laughs> there. Should be 
everything sorted out there. I'll get that re-kicked back into motion. Water is already being sent off. There's a million blob. The overflow tank, so I don't have to think about it. I just need that replugged back in. And this needs to be put to nine. Or I'll stop having any petroleum being stuck in it. If I need to move any petroleum around, I'll just have it in, ta in bottle form because it'll stay inside the payload dispenser. And then all I have to do is hit when we get anything in here, you can actually empty the inventory and it'll just come out as a bottle. It's really, really nice. Yeah, need this one pipe fixed. Now, fixed, fixed. And Alan. Pretty sure we crushed it. Dead. There's still going to be some petroleum coming through the system. So technically I can re-crush it by moving this tile. Also need to dismantle this. And deconstruct this. These both need to be scooted over to the left a little bit. And I also need to send through the teleporter. There's the fine metals. Gold, I think. Gold do we got here? Um I have tons of aluminum, but I don't want to waste aluminum for equipment for that. I guess I could just send more steel at this rate. Yeah, at this rate, screw it. I'll just send steel. Why not? We need manufacture. Bring me a thousand steel. Problem solved. Eventually, we'll replace it with gold. We're just not there yet. One tile where we won't have access to it. Also, there and there. Why do I have natural tiles? Ugh, <laughs> I don't want to get rid of them. They are useful, but they're frustrating to work with. There. And make your bridge right here to here. But the good news is, is my people will now be able have fish without having to worry about picking it up so they never need to come down here again. So I may need to turn off the water here soon because I think we're going to overfill the system. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to have more than enough water. Downside, I accidentally pumped too much water. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, not. That's the rocket route. Out, that's fine. Plenty of atmosphere in here, so we're not gonna have any issues. 
other than the uh, autopilot. That's about it. This and this one. We can finally connect the other gold volcano up to the other system, and now we'll have both gold volcanoes going on the same cooling loop. And then comes the cobalts. This one enters from here, and this one enters from here. Goes all the way through here, down here, and out this side. This one connects and goes through here, and meets up this way. So gold's on this side, cobalt's on the inner side. I feel like I should probably set up a auto sensor. Specifically to pick up any extra eggs. That way we have exactly six in here at all times. Hmm. For now I think it's fine. We have a squeaky puck here though. Really need to put in its own little box, and I need to ship it the heck over to Alan. <laughs> I seem of a very happy dupe there. <laughs> How's the temperature going? 28. Literally memeing with Weezwarts at this point. The fact that it's actually somewhat boring, the temperature is funny. A little bad for the uh, pinch pepper plant, but on the other hand, eh. <laughs> up to 27. Wow, 227 from 20, 226.2. Oh, God. <laughs> Just making so much. When you build an actual Dreco farm to run a base off of, you really don't need to do that much. But well, they're nice. I like Dreco. Dreco's are just great. Because have always been great. want to hug, but that's also fine. Why do I see petroleum everywhere? Why is there petroleum everywhere? How is there petroleum everywhere? What? What did you guys do? Seriously. What? <laughs> How is there petroleum everywhere? I'm confused, but okay. I'm sure I don't have anything else. I thought for the teleporter. Come over here. Here. Wait, no, it's not. This isn't linked up. Just storing everything.
I am confused. Where did that come from? Okay. Well, that's just weird. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but okay, game. I can always just add some petroleum on top of this and make it that way. I don't like mixing and matching, but in certain cases, it's perfectly fine if you need to scoot the things along. Okay, now I always flip talent. Anybody need medical attention? No. And now the bottle turned into a chunk. Damn it. I'd hope it would just turn into a material blob. <sighs> well, we're gonna have to waste that resource. Okay. Yuck. Because of this, isn't it? Natural tiles leak energy like crazy. Yeah, they get it. Yeah. They just unbottled that and just turned it into material. Game, get in there and clean that up before the ethanol starts exploding. Quickly. Temperature is going to be bad no matter what you do. We definitely need to remove this. Goodbye, a thousand. A lot of grams. Okay, temperature's now starting to fall a little bit. That was too much for it. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have definitely unbottled that bottle. I was like, well, just pick it up. No biggie. And it's just, oh, well, crap. <laughs> it's too powerful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Only... Send me a thousand steel if you would. Thanks. We'll get this sorted soon. Need to fill in more material. How are you doing, Gene? I forgot you're gonna actually research on your way in, aren't you? Yes, you are. Did we already add that one? Uh, carbon. How much time until you get there? Oh, 0 0.5 cycles. Nice. Back just in time. Anyone want to come grab that chunk and put it in? No. <laughs> Dang it, dupes. No. There should be plenty. Get this all set up, guys. That'll be enough for most of this down here. And that. That's the primary section. The rest of this could be kind of chewed off, like right here if necessary. I personally would rather have it just directly linked in. I'd rather just be dropping the food in there so that my people can actually handle it all without much issue. Oh, new principles. Building doctor, unpracticed. Allergy, nope. Nails, nope. Nemo, you know, if you came earlier, I would have picked you up for sure. Not a bad, not a bad dupe at all. Um, take the mark, please. Take them here. Uh, do I have any petroleum here, or? Is it still in the tank, isn't it? No, it's not. Is it self fresh? 
Yeah, it self crushed. There you go. I just need to send all the steel I can send through. It's like, so you can finish this line. Ah, screw it. Send them their, our steel. Don't worry about making more afterwards. Freeze, 15. Amount of power on this planet yet? Uh, need to be generating literally four kilowatts to run all of this safely, continuously with no downtime. Which is possible. It's going to be slow. Oh, these guys. My other issue is that I do need to take the CO2 and I need to vent it into space. Which means I'll just send it straight on up and just vent it out the top. That will actually get hot. I don't really want it being near the solar system. Hmm. Close warning again. Get that set up. Good all. We're just gonna nine priority that. Air loader, I will lower the priority on this. Set it for sleep only. That should hopefully sort the bathroom warning. Whoever actually needs it. Oh boy. Jow, your 93% batter. Uh, yep. <laughs> your bladder is about to explode. Move it, move it, move it. No pissing in your suit, please. That would be great. Soon that'll be fully automated and I don't need to think about it. Temperatures are already falling rapidly on this one. Good. Yep, that was it was the natural tile causing the biggest problem. That was pretty much an oh shit moment. But yeah, if I end up having to do that, I'd always unbottle it before I turn it like look at something else. It forms a natural tile and I'm going to have a problem. Okay, I'm going to have a two, almost two thousand degree problem. Uh, nothing good comes from that. Mm -hmm. I'm in seconds. Good. I'm not seeing you wanting to dig here. We have the actual drill bit. Everything else is connected. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, we did get the actual artifacts, so that counts. I remember the actual drill bit only had a little bit of space for actual storage, but it looks like it doesn't anymore. But again, I know that they keep changing it on me. I'm not drilling. Why are you not drilling? There's space. Hmm. Guess not. Eh, well. We got the artifact. That was the main goal. Next, we'll be grabbing the fullerene on the way back. I remember the drill cone. The diamond drill cone had 100 kilograms worth of space. That was it. But then you had to build the actual... Where is that? Receptacle. Yeah. Fitting and... You had to build this thing and you brought them back. It looks like they're forcing that on you now beforehand. Including storage containers. Yeah, well, we'll have to rejig the rocket for that, but that's perfectly fine. We have the space over here. I'm really interested to see what the actual artifact actually is. So that'll be 92 cycles before that comes back. Okay. Twenty-five, fifteen, twenty-five. Right, Google, what is it? Fifteen. I yeah, it's fifteen twenty-five. <laughs> Quick math. Fifteen twenty-five or what? Yes, got it. Like 2.4 cycles to get back, we'll rejig the rocket, and then we can end up actually mining the dang thing. I was like, I want to get the artifact first and foremost, I'm going to see if they did any changes to digging with the actual drocon, if you can get a little bit or not. Looks like it's a not. Means that I need to remove the artifact capsule afterwards, and then exchange that for an actual storage container. That should keep the thing going. And then 92 cycles around... At 1525, we'll do another launch specifically for the artifact, so I'll rejig the rocket then. And that is if we don't have the nuclear systems already up and running, and we don't have artifact design specific rockets by then. Okay, that actually works the way I wanted it to. I literally just need this transfer. This. Seven kilograms. Doesn't matter. All that matters is the temperature transfer. We'll have to clean that up though, <laughs> for sure. Problem. Got to do the same thing over here. To be honest, I could probably just do the petroleum method where I just do this, put petroleum on top of it, blow it over the top, boom, done. Let's think about it. I'll shut you coming in to help. I'll give you a balloon. I approve. Slowly moving them back. I know you're hungry, buddy. It's, it's all right. Mop some of this up if you would.
those. Take the naphtha out of there. Good. Okay, that's one done. Then we gotta do this one. So I gotta empty those. But then we gotta do this one. Then we gotta actually get everything else set up. I have to build in the actual radioactive lead suit protections here. I have to peel this off so that way the dupes don't accidentally come in here for whatever reason. I need to make a safety door so that way the dupes can't actually put uranium into the nuclear reactor because that's how you lose a nuclear reactor. <laughs> If you allow your dupes to manually do it, bad things happen. Never let them actually manually input, because they will just put the whole 20 kilograms of enriched uranium directly into the machine. Which is, uh... That's never a good thing. And also not to mention, if, even if they're, you know... If they're not in suits, then they're gonna get highly irradiated. Which is really bad. Uh... So never allow them to do that. Ever. It's only 170. What? It's like, oh, it's totally surrounded. It's 175 degrees in there, and you're in a completely pressurized, temperature-controlled super suit. You literally don't even worry about the temperature until it's 1,500. What do you mean it's hot? Bruh. <laughs> and Wraith, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it's toasty. It's like... How can you tell? You're literally in a super suit. What do you mean? Made of niobium. There's literally no te temperature transfer until it starts melting. <laughs> Ugh. Don't get my dupe sometimes. Oh, that's still running on me from time to time. Gotta be careful of that wire. I gotta rejig it at some point when we can expand the uh, steam box. The main goal. Play in this area. Anyway. Well, you gotta be the odd one out. Or are reaching a uh, throughput issue. Gotta be careful of that too. As we're working on the nuclear reactor, I am using the full base system. I just need to actually build more gas pipes to the system in its entirety. We will eventually get this all, like, this will be the primary. It's just that then, right now, I really should just be using isolated ones. So for increasing the speed of construction. If anyone's wondering why I switched off of it, that's why. I'll probably actually switch back here shortly. Once the nuclear reactor is back online completely. It's working out. So much to clean up over there. <laughs> Not even funny. They're working on it. It's just slow. Future wise, 83, 54. It's stabilizing. Thank goodness. Can't let this hit over 75 or this will all start cooking off and it would be really bad. Gas wise, it fine. I need some more steel over so we can clean that up. High priority order. So much lime. I actually have even more, but I would need to send it all over from Dripola as well. With all the Paku creating all these eggshells, quite uh, noticeable. Also isolated the dense puffs. <laughs> to be honest, I might need to do this <laughs> just to clean up the problem. Yes, Brett. Eleven kilograms worth of polluted oxygen in here. I need to really clean that. How's the temperatures here? Okay, that's all nice and stabilized for standard base temps. Oh, 
do need to increase power output. Noted poor. I need to send over more glass, it looks like. Up my higher priority on these. And get this CO2 vented into space properly this time. Wait, what? What's going on with this? Eh? <laughs> I have created a vacuum tile with an airflow tile. Uh what? Hold up, let me load the map again. No, I legitimately somehow created a vacuum tile. What in the actual hell? <laughs> Game? Explain thyself. There's no fluid. There's 11 kilograms of fluid oxygen on this side. And barely, a, almost 2,000 kilograms. On this side. Um. Oops. Help. <laughs> I think what's happening is, is the game is calculating what's inside the pipe as what should be there. So the carbon dioxide that's sitting behind this thing in this pipe is counting for the tile. So it's not allowing the gas to go through it. Maybe if I up, maybe if I force update it by building a new tile, maybe it'll fix it. I'm actually concerned. <laughs> uh, geez. Also, these guys are actually crowded, so I can actually run seven to eight of them. We'll keep it at eight. We'll keep it at seven. Uh, dupes? Anybody? Righto? Ah, you're coming. Okay. Well, I want to see if this gets fixed. Because <laughs> that's kind of important. We have a random vacuum tile when I built an airflow tile. That's, uh, that's a hell of a bug. I have no idea how that happened. I have never seen that happen. I've seen airflow tiles bug out and get fluid in them. We have that back at main base right now. Um, but I've never seen it create a vacuum tile between two of the same substance. For reference. There's oxygen, there's oxygen. Vacuum. Yeah, my guess is this is getting calculated as taking up this tile. So this might update it, otherwise this might just make another vacuum tile. We'll find out in a second. Or my dupe gets here. Alright, lower the priority on the rest of these before. There. Until you can actually get that built. Come on, guys. Right out. You gonna come help me with this? Raise current error. Check on the machine. You're doing fine. You'll be back in 1.2 cycles. Okay. Comes. These don't form another time. That's 11 kilograms. And... Please work. Explode. There we go. Okay, yep, it's working. You can see the wave. So yeah, I just needed to force update the game. Technically, the uh, game engine, which is Unity. That was actually kind of funny. It's like I accidentally somehow created a vacuum tile between two of the same substance. What? <laughs> Explain. 
<laughs> I am confused. Oh, there we go. That should be fine now. I'll get rid of this vent finally. Should be the last one piece. That's been taken care of, and I need to try this. I'll get rid of that. Have we, had, have we had any other petroleum leakage? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to assume it's all inside the tank. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we can just empty storage and get the bottles out of it. Okay, good. How's your food situation? I assume it's fine. I don't know if we'll actually need to switch out this food for another rocket launch because I just need to refuel the rocket. And our Red Bull generation is actually getting to a point where I don't have to worry about it too much. And yeah, we might want to store it. 93%? Yeah, I'll probably store it. Come on, cycle, good. Biggest issue we're going to have is that I'm going to need to be able to utilize solid unloaders and we're going to have to kind of like shove this as we need it because I'm not leaving this thing out here because uh, A, these are nuclear rockets and B, I don't think it'll survive 1655 degree temperatures. The steel can, but uh... The only obsidian can. The Mavic's actually barely holding on, which is kind of funny. As you can see, it'll probably melt when it comes back down. I still have a couple pieces of Mavic around here somewhere. Like this one. Yes. Yeah. Hundred degrees. Oh boy, melting. <laughs> That's the best way to put this. It's so hot. I might need to do the uh, carbon method to being able to protect the base from the temperatures that we'll be dealing with soon. The giant maybe though. I really need them to move fast. Uh, dupes, are you guys still sending the steel over? Alright, we're just gonna high part of that. Then a 300 kilograms, though. Uh, make a lot more, actually. Right, we'll do 50 and. It process all that stuff any up anyway. Nope. How the heck did we have a miss? What? Did it just happen when we had like a small brown out or something? <laughs> That's literally my best guess. I'm like, wait, why why is there a shell all the way the heck over here? We must have run out of power at some point for second this is I believe this one was on the independent battery with the solar yeah with the main spine now but solar panels must must have been like dead of night at the last second that's annoying it's way over there <laughs> I'll have to send the dupes to go pick it up uh no stuff misses it's fine
Where is the entire environment? Ah, we're actually dipping their temperatures down into green territories. Good for that. I want to just run only the cooler, though. At least for a little bit. Nope. Oh. Run out of backup juice, then. Yeah, we did. Okay. Power. <laughs> nope. Not enough. Damn it. Uh I might need to actually put my gems on the main spine just to add some extra juice to it. Athletics is up to four. And pencil, what are you at? An Eleven and nine. Very nice. They're improving. I improve. Poor decor. Ugh. Need to gold everything. That's the problem. <laughs> everything must be plated in gold. The only way to be sure. Actually, I mean, you did actually do a bunch of exploration, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you did. Nice. Cleaned out all of that. Very, very nice. That might be the rift. Maybe. Hmm. Normally, they're in, normally the rift is in one of these corners. Very nice. Throw a bunch of cycles and he'll be back. Worry about him, he's completely safe. How's the water situation over here? Doing okay. Is that overflow? No, it was overflow. Ah. Uh oops. Got a place. They're going to be so happy when they don't have to come down here to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, poor dupes. I'll leave that as a 9, and we'll just ship steel through until we don't... I can just teleport it back. Thirty-four. Holy cr what? Thirty-five, thirty-four. <laughs> That's the steam right above this thing. That's a hundred and twenty-eight. <laughs> the power of CO2, everyone. Uh literally an insane insulator. That's very, 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 very poor thermal conductivity. Can't even describe how poor the thermal conductivity actually is because it's just oh yes, it's a minute of a fraction. <sighs> I always count on CO2 to not have to worry about anything. Temperatures machine. What are you doing in there? How did you <sighs> kill the one from before, ain't you? Okay, well that's fine. We'll just have pips running around as usual. Actually, how is the pups doing here? Doing fine. Doing fine. Uh, 
Let's see what our friends will have. Oh, two more pip eggs. Rancher 13, but they are shabby just for night owl, unempathetic and undigging. Hmm. Negative decor, negative medicine, negative excavation. They're not bad though, because they're not completely zeros. They're just reduced. Hmm. Thank you, you're tempting. I really just want critter, <sighs> like, the little... <sighs> mm. <laughs> I'm sitting here just thinking, hmm, I'm probably going to get critter version over and over and over, unless we get something really nice. Personally, I want a glow stick armor with researching, possibly, if it's a free interest, then it would need to be suit wearing. Otherwise, I need a rancher... A suit wearing in some capacity. Yeah, I think we'll pass on Frankie for now. Just be negative. They're not bad, they're just not good. I like the pips actually. Eh, right. more pips here is fine. I am content with more pips. Need to finally connect this thing up. Gold. Two. almost kind of want to just add a power transformer and set up a small gym over here and then connect it up to the primary spine so that way they'll still run due to the light bulb being empty but they'll be able to charge the base at the same time i think that still works i don't actually remember specifically Water leakage, right? get rid of this somehow <laughs> like i could either vent it into space but that would be really annoying because i'd have to build around it and build it up or we just kind of deal with the little bits that fall down and try to double mix instead of great water blade slightly easier to work with Regular water here. Ah, 
pump up the rest of this. I don't have to worry about it. We need the regular water there, and we can just blast that polluted water out of there. Not, I guess I'll just have to delete it via crushing. I almost want to take the excess offshoot water from this as well. Take this up to water tanks. That there to force pipe priority this way and not to merge here. Yeah. Because that way we can start processing the rest of the water on the planet. And it's all getting sucked up because I keep sending all my polluted... Yeah, all the excess polluted water just kind of gets sucked up into here and then I just slowly expand this thing down like a giant straw. <laughs> Eventually it'll all get taken care of. Or as the gulp prize will get it, and I don't have to worry about it. Do a pretty good job of tending to these issues. Are we getting any more steel yet? Got to wait on main base. What's the temperatures up here? Okay, it's back in safe ranges. For ethanol, specifically. Not safe ranges for dupes, just, you know, safe ranges for... Not blowing up in my face. Pop up the rest of that. Thank you very much. Ellen. Still going up. That's what I need to see. Silver pressure. Still can't be silver. <laughs> Funny. How is everything on the reactor? Still haven't delivered anything. Concerning. Everything else is working alright. Somehow the dip is on the water? Okay. I might just not care about that and ignore the situation. <laughs> Weird. Alrighty then. I'm still questioning how the pips got out from there. When they did it, I'm just confused how they did it. I'm going to wrangle you. Wrangle you. And any other pips that have somehow escaped. I'm going to assume due to egg. Yeah, I spoiled the warning for the other one. I made them all a bit sad, but that's fine. Yeah, bring them back there. Bring them back into the main base. Safe. Dude. 
bathroom. Now. Don't make me force you to stay in there. I will. Go to the bathroom. Right out. Go to the bathroom. What are you, you are literally locked in the room. What do you mean? Oh, God. Okay, one sec. I also do need to set everyone else as well. There. Now go to the bathroom. You two can leave. Righto, you can leave. You need to use the restroom as well? Yep, you can. Ray's never had an issue with this, which is concerning, but kind of expected of them. Ray, go to the bathroom. 90% bladder. Can't go anywhere. Use the toilet. Thank you. Nope. Right. We'll have 93%. Use the toilet. There you go. Free to leave. Now, let's check on the credit drop off and make sure that we got them all. Good, we did. I don't know how they got out. That was a little strange. That seems okay. Also well, 7 in the morning. I think we'll end up calling it here in a minute. We need to make sure that we're into 1437. I don't get any weird artifacting when I save and load the game at night in game. Just as a precaution. And a wrist wristwatch. Okay. So I should definitely deconstruct this module. Can shove a storage uh, container on this thing. I'll probably be a small solid storage container. Entombed artifact. Now comes the fun part. Uh, do I have the research for the station? Artifact analysis station. I'll make another copper, please. I have just enough space. Actually, put it down here. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> so I just I was like, which one was that one? Oh yes. We don't we don't touch that one. Um borrow from that one. Also, uh let's see here. Oh, let's all in uh, orbital cargo module. Cargo bag. Ah, 
Ah, god damn. Have to get rid of a solar panel for sure for this. It is not great. It is usable. I need to disable this. And is it plants? The only thing I can run is the bridge. <laughs> That's literally it. I have to disable literally everything else. But it can be done. I could also shove one of the power lines into the battery module, but I'd have to make this all out of steel if I wanted to do that. In order to increase power production while it's on the pad. Obviously, when we need to unload this thing, can't actually utilize a conveyor rail for the small one. You have to use shipping solid port unloader. It's right here at the bottom. But uh, yeah, this won't survive <laughs> this thing. So we're just not going to build that until everything is clean. Then we're going to place it empty out the storage, and then we can get rid of it and it can continue to relaunch. But uh, for a while, there's no way in hell, until I get Thermium, that that thing will survive a rideable engine launch right next to it. It's just, it's not possible. Yeah, if I cut everything out of here, just the fridge, then this will easily be able to function without having any real issues. Especially in transit. Technically, I could also add... If necessary, you could dismantle this. Put a manual generator in. <laughs> I hate everything I'm about to say on that one, but you can do that. That is a viable option as needed. Or I could just remove the enclosed telescope and pull one right there. <laughs> Go for that. It would work. I do would hate me, but it's like, yes, a rocket that is powered by bullshit. Hey, kid. Welcome back. We're literally just about to finish up for tonight. Yeah, welcome to the base. <laughs> uh, how may the committee help you? Right now we're currently working on a couple of mega projects simultaneously, which is making this a little bit more tedious than normal, but I'm perfectly okay with it. As far as having a bit of a more watchful of an eye. Get more steel over here to get that all done. Talon just needs to start actually building out some of the extra machinery, but for the most part, it mostly just needs cleanup. Right about, we'll figure something out for it. And then obviously, the massive industrial cooler. 
is just this huge thing which is cooling down all of my liquid metal. Which soon that will get untapped and then we can start piling that in there too. But, yeah. Actually, a lot of progress. We now have both of these fully hooked up and insulated, except for Lady Arch I need to fix in the future. But everything else is done. That needs to be attached. That needs to be unsealed. Looking really good. And my nuclear power plant is slowly but assuredly being built. Uh, I expect I'll probably need to save and load a couple times to make sure this thing doesn't explode. Because there is a high likelihood one of my duplicates is going to fuck this up. <laughs> they always tend to do it somehow. So, just as a whole, I don't really trust my dupes. I mean, the number one rule of action not included is never trust your duplicates. They will do everything in their power to get themselves killed. I'll drop a save. Confirm it. 1437. Okay. Mission successful. Ah. Oh. Oh. I am content with the amount of progress we made today. Feels good. Also, just getting the industrial cooler online. Oh, it feels really good. All that gold. That's going to go to a, a lot of things. <laughs> I have to replate the entire main base. Oh, boy. That's going to be a long time and a lot of work. 